This is moving. What's up, YouTubers? Hope you guys are doing absolutely fantastic. I have a super fun exercise for you that we'll get to in just a second. Uh, the band still has a bunch of gear here, so I thought, looks kind of cool as a backdrop. And usually my camera is pointed this way, so now you have a whole new view. All right, let's get into this thing. This is a very, very long exercise, but a very simple exercise. It really only has three pre three pre why is that so freaking hard to say? Three prerequisites. <laughs> so let's dive in. The first thing you need to know is right hand lead pair diddle diddle. Right, left, right, right, left, left, right, left, right, right, left, left, pair a diddle diddle, pair a diddle diddle. You also need to know this left hand lead. Left a diddle diddle, left, right, left, left, right, right, left a diddle diddle, left, right, left, left, right, right. And the only other thing is your standard pair diddles. Right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left. Those are the only ingredients in this entire thing. So as far as the pattern or the phrase, we have two pair diddle diddles followed by a single pair diddle. And you're gonna do that three times in a row. Pair a diddle diddle, pair a diddle diddle, pair a diddle boop. Now you're on left hand lead. Left a diddle diddle, left a diddle diddle, left a diddle. Now you're on right hand lead, right a diddle diddle, right a diddle diddle, right a diddle. Then after all of that, you have four single pair diddles. Pair a diddle, pair a diddle, pair a diddle, pair a diddle. Then you start the whole thing over again, left hand lead. So, pair a diddle diddle twice in a row, followed by a single pair diddle. That phrase itself, you do that three times. Then you follow that whole thing with four single pair diddles. That will switch you to left hand lead. So, pair a diddle diddle, pair a diddle diddle, pair a diddle pair. I'm gonna go through it kind of fast just so you can hear it. Boom, 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 boom. Left, 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 right, 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 left, 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 right, left, right, left. So let's try it nice and slow. 16th notes at 80 BPM. And a full, and right a diddle diddle, right a diddle diddle, right a diddle, left a diddle diddle. Diddle diddle, left a diddle, right a diddle diddle, right. Now the single pair diddles. Pair a diddle, pair a diddle, pair a diddle, pair a diddle, left a diddle diddle. Boom, 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 boom. Right, 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 left, 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 right, 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 left, right. Last time through. Boom! And yes, this is a very long exercise. And the reason why I think that's a very good thing for you is because when you're warming up for something, it's as important to warm up your mind as it is to warm up your body. If I'm standing backstage getting ready to do a drum festival or a drum clinic or even a show with my band, I do want to physically warm up, of course, but I also need to warm up my mind because those are the things that seem to catch you off guard. It's really rare that something happens where I'm just not fast enough to do it. It's usually my brain that goes kick, 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 and I'm like, go, keep Doki. So that's why this one is so good for you because it does take a lot of your own attention to keep track of it, especially if there's distractions going on around you like there would be at a show or a clinic. Also in the last YouTube video, I mentioned the balance pad. This is the finished product. It doesn't have the logos on it just yet, but it's the final prototype. So we have an articulate side. Let me put one of these down where it's all about clarity. This actually has underneath this white cloth material, there's actually mylar or drumhead material. And so that gives you the ability to get a buzz roll out of it. it, gives you tons of articulation to hear, are you playing the things you're playing clean? This side, I don't really consider this to be a conditioning side as much as it's the quiet side. So if, if I am playing around other people and I don't wanna bother them with my playing, then this side is perfect for that. It's also what I would consider to be the hotel side. If I'm in a hotel room, I don't wanna be just blazing on some loud surface. So this is a way to practice and warm up and not bother people around you. If I can make a bit more noise and I really want that articulation, or if I'm working on some buzz strokes, then I want this side. So 
So I will keep you guys posted about when this comes out, but the balance pad, as far as I'm concerned, it is finished now. Now it's just about doing durability tests and making sure that this material can handle a lot of playing. All right, let's get back to it. So goal tempo on this, that was 80 BPM as 16th notes. Goal tempo on this is shucking and jiving. It's at 100 BPM, but as 32nd notes. So that makes this a perfect video for you to come back to over and over again. If you can't keep up with me at this tempo, don't worry about it. Chip away at it on your own, practice for a couple weeks, then come back to the video and test yourself. If you can't do it, just keep practicing, keep practicing, keep coming back to it until that day that you're like, boom, I did it with you. All right, no more dilly dally, 100 BPM, 32nd notes, long exercise. Here we go, one, two, three, four. Did you notice that old Chad the Chatterbox had nothing to say during that? That's because it was freaking tough and I was stressing. All right, YouTubers, I hope you enjoyed this short lesson. This is just a fun exercise, like I said, to warm up your brain and your body at the same time. But have fun with this. Take it to the drum set, move it around the kit, play it over an ostinato. Be patient with yourself, but until next time, go practice.